Step 2. Build the skeleton of the decision tree. Building a decision tree with precision tree is quite easy, especially if you take advantage of its copying ability. You first create the start of a decision tree, and then you successively add decision and chance nodes and their associated branches. You will notice that the rightmost tips of branches have blue triangles, called end nodes. These signify that all decisions have been made and all uncertain outcomes have been observed. To start a decision tree, click the Decision Tree button on the Precision Tree ribbon, and in the resulting dialog box, select a cell in a blank area of the worksheet. This creates the beginning of a decision tree, with one blue end node. You can give the tree a descriptive name if you like. To build the tree, click a node you want to add to. This opens a dialog box where you can specify the type of node you want and the information about the branches emanating from it. Watch carefully as I add more decision and chance nodes. Note that you can add the labels to the nodes and branches through the node settings dialog, as I've just done, or directly on the tree. I will do the next one in the latter way so that you can see the possibilities. Now I will complete the skeleton by copying the top subtree to the other two bit amount branches. To copy a subtree, right click the leftmost node of the subtree and select Copy Subtree. Then right click the node you want to paste the subtree to and select Paste Subtree. Note that any formulas you have on the subtree are copied in the usual Excel way, so you usually want these formulas to have absolute references. Now it's your turn. Stop this video and build the skeleton of the tree for this bidding model. Take advantage of copying and pasting subtrees.